Hello everybody, um, welcome to week two's lesson in the English Conversation Programme. Today we are going to be talking about family. So, hopefully everybody has a, cor uh, a copy of the Four Corners textbook for um, today. Um, again, I'm going to just put myself up into the corner out of the way and we'll go on with today's um, lesson. So first of all I have a few announcements um, to make. So firstly um, due to the coronavirus in-class lectures have been delayed again and are now due to start in week number four. So we're going to have one more week of online classes next week. Um, again, you can find all the links to the class documents on the e-learning site, the um, Word and the PDF documents you need for today's lesson. Um, another thing, please upload your assignment files to the e-learning site. Do not send them to me by email. You must send them um, through the e-learning website. So there's just a few announcements before we start. Um, also, I want to just give you a few um, tips about using um, this video. So I'm going to try to instruct this class like a normal in-class lecture. Now, usually in my class um, lectures, we do a lot of speaking activities. You need a partner to do these. So that is impossible um, to do with these online video lectures. So I have replaced um, the speaking activities in class with writing activities, and they will be in the class assignment handouts. Um, there will be some points where you have to pause the video to complete the class assignments. You will see this sign coming up. If you want to listen to a part again, just rewind the video and play that part again. This will be very useful for the listening sections. Um, also useful if you didn't fully understand what I was explaining you can put it back and listen again. But especially today with the listening, maybe you want to listen two or three times to get the correct answers. Well, just rewind the video and listen um, again. Also today, our class materials. So for today's class, you will need your textbook, Four Corners One. You will need to download some documents from the e-learning site. You need the handout containing today's class assignments, which is a Microsoft Word document, and today's lecture presentation, which is in a PDF file. Um, now, these documents um, look like this. Here is the um, class assignment handout. It has quite a lot of pages and you just can write your answers in the spaces that I have provided you with. So this is what you need to send to the e-learning website when you have completed it. And the um, presentation file just looks like this. All of today's um, PowerPoint slides are included in here. So you should download these and you should have your textbook um, before we start today's lesson. So in today's lesson, um, we're going to do four main stages. Um, first of all, we're going to be learning some vocabulary relating to family relationships. We are then going to listen to people talk about their families. We're going to make a family tree 
I'm going to make uh, my family tree with lots of different people in my family. And then you're going to make a family tree for your family. And you'll use that to talk about those people. So that's going to be today's lesson. So what we're going to do to start today is we're going to think about all of the English words that we can use to describe family relationships. So um, I've given some examples. We could have a sister. So a sister is a relationship, a family relationship. We could have grandparents. Um, in my family, I have a wife. I have a son. There's two other words um, that describe family relationships. So the first thing that I want you to do is pause the video. I want you to look at your worksheet, um, the first part of it here. We can see we've already got two words, sister and grandparents. I want you to try to write as many English words that describe family relationships. I think if you can write down maybe eight or nine words, that would be excellent. But um, just write them in the box just now. So pause the video for maybe five minutes and take your time and write down some of these family relationship words. Okay, we're going to move on to part two. Hopefully you wrote down lots of good English words for family relationships, and maybe some of these words are going to be used in this next conversation. So the next thing we're going to be doing is a short conversation. So in the conversation, we've got Jack, and he is talking with a friend about his family. So we're going to listen to the conversation and we're going to try to answer the four questions below. So we've got question one, what's his sister's name? Question two, how old is his sister? Question three, how many sisters does he have? Question four, how do his grandparents look? So again, when we're doing this listening, you're going to look in your assignment worksheet. You can see the four questions here. So you're going to listen carefully and try to answer each of the four questions. So I am going to play the conversation just now. Everybody listen carefully. Page 20, exercise two, conversation. Who's that? Who's that? That's my sister. Her name is Wendy. How old is she? She's seven. Is she your only sister? Yeah. And who are they? They're my grandparents. Wow. They look young. And who's he? That's me. Okay. So we're here. It was quite a short conversation. Um, in the conversation, you could hear all of the answers to these four questions. Now, some of you may have difficulty with listening. That's fine. Um, if you couldn't find all of the questions the first time, you can rewind the video to listen to the conversation again. So um, rewind, listen once more or twice more or even three times more, but keep listening until you can find the answers to all of these questions. Write your answers in your assignment worksheet. 
I will be checking these answers and I'll be giving you some feedback on the ones you got correct and also the ones that you, you didn't get correct. Okay. Now, we'll notice in the conversation we were talking about um, how old there, who is someone, and this, this grammar is quite important when we're talking about people. So, um, page 21 of your textbook um, has a, a simple graphic showing this grammar point. And it's really looking at the difference between who is that or who are they. Um, and when we're making questions, this is very important. So if we are asking just about one person, we can use who is that? Who's that? Oh, that's my brother or that's my sister. If we're asking about more than one person, we're going to use who are they? Oh, well, that is my brother and my sister. So two people. Or who are they? They are my grandparents. More than one, grandmother and grandfather, grandparents. So it is um, a little bit different depending on if we're asking about one person or more than one person. So if you look on page 21 of your book, it looks like this. We've got, who's that? That's my sister, one person. How old is she? One person, she is seven. So who is, how old is, we're talking about one person. These two examples, we've got who are they? They're my grandparents. So grandparents, two people, more than one. How old are they? Again, it's we're asking about the two people. Well, they're 70 and 66. So it's important that we can see these um, differences. So again, just now we should pause the video and try to complete all of the answers in your textbook on page 21. So pause the video now and write down your answers. OK, now you should have answers to all of these questions. Now, if we look at the first one, the answer B here. Oh, that's my brother Ignacio. Well, that is my brother, one person. So the question here is, who's that? Who's that? Now, the second one, the answer here is, he's 10 years old. He's 10 years old. Well, he is, must be one person. So the question would be, how old is he? How old is he? He's 10 years old. Now, the next one we're looking at, they're my sisters, Lucia, Antonia and Carmen. One, two, three people. So, because we're talking about three people, they are my sisters, we have to use this question. Who are they? They're my sisters, Lucia, Antonia, and Carmen. Again, here, um, they're 19, 16, and 11. Three ages for three people. It would have to be the question, how old are they? Now, the next answer, that's my grandfather. That is, is one person. So the question would have to be, and who's that? That's my grandfather. The final answer is, he's 62, 
Again, he is. So the question would be, how old is he? So I hope you got the answers correct. Um, if you're having some um, trouble with that, you can go and do a little bit more work. Look at the B verb and the differences in how we use is and are to talk about one or more than one person. OK. Now, we're going to move on to the main part of today's lesson. We're going to be drawing a family tree showing some of the people in our families. We will then use this to talk about those people. Now, before you make your family tree, I want you to look at the next slide of my family tree. I have written the names of my family members in boxes. So let's have a look here. So in my family tree down here, this is me. Now, beside me here is somebody called Myeongdan. And down below us is somebody called Jimmy. So I wonder, who are these people? Well, Myeongdan is my wife. Jimmy is my son. So we can see our relationships here from the family tree. Here is me, here is my wife, and here is my son. If we go up from me and we go up here, we can see two people. We've got Margaret and Ali. Margaret and Ali, well, who are they? Well, Margaret and Ali are my parents. Margaret is my mother. Ali is my father. So again, just following up, we can see this part of the family tree. Now across here, beneath Margaret and Ali, we've got me, and then across here, we've got Katie. And then across here, we've got another Ali. Oh, two Allies here. So I wonder, who are these people? Well, we can see Ali and Margaret. Well, I am their son. Katie is their daughter. Ali is their son. So Katie is my sister. Ali is my brother. Again, we can see people here. If we take my mum, here is my mum's parents, Charlie and Kathy. Well, they're my grandparents, my mum's parents. Also, we can see one of my mum's brothers here, Robert, and one of her sisters here, Pat. So by drawing this family tree, we can really see the different relationships in anybody's um, family. So I want you to look at my family tree very, very carefully. And you're going to think about some questions. So in my family tree, there are these people, Kirsty, Charlie, Beth, Margaret, Jimmy, Jack. Now, who are these people? Well, here is me, and here is Kirsty. Hmm, what is our relationship? Well, if we go up, here's my mum. Oh, here's her brother. So there's my uncle, Robert, my aunt, Rita, and they have a child called Kirsty. Well, in this case, your uncle and your aunt's child, well, this is my cousin. So from looking at my family tree, we can see that Kirsty is my cousin. So you could write your answer, Kirsty is your cousin. Now, I want you 
to again look at my family tree and answer the other questions. Who is Charlie? Charlie, he's up here. Hmm. What is his relationship to me? Who is Beth? Beth is down here. Hmm. Who is Margaret? Margaret's here. Who is she? Who is Jimmy? Jimmy is down here. Who is he? And who is Jack? Jack is down here. So everybody, you should pause the video just now and write your answers in the assignment worksheet. You can see here is the space to write your answers. So everyone, pause the video and write your answers now. Okay, next thing we're going to do is draw your family tree. Now, I have already done this with mine. I wrote the names, so we know my wife's name is Myung Dan. My son's name is Jimmy. We've got my sister, my brother. So you are going to write the names of some people in your family. So again, you can do this in your handout. Um, so let's say this is you here. Maybe you don't have a wife or a husband. You don't have a son. You can leave that blank. But maybe you do have a father and your father's name is Dong Chao. Oh, let's make that smaller. And maybe you have a mother, and your mother is maybe Hijong. I don't know. So we could write those names in here. And then maybe you have a brother or a sister. You can write their names here. Maybe your father's brother, your uncle, you can write his name here. Your father's mother and father, you could write their names here. So your grandma and grandfather. So what I really want you to do here is try to include the names of at least eight family members. That would be good. Um, please use only English to, to write your family members' names. So this should take you um, a few minutes, maybe five minutes or so. So again, everybody, at this point, you can pause the video and then write down some of the names of the people in your family. Okay, so now we're going to write about some of the people in your family. So we're going to think about describing these people. Now, first of all, we want to know their um, relationship. So maybe who is Ali? Well, we know from my family tree, Ali is my brother. So after that, we want to find more out about these people. So we want to maybe know their job. What does he or she do? That question means what is their job? We want to know their age. How old is he or she? We want to know where these people live. So where does he live or where does she live? Um, maybe where does he go to work or go to school? How often do you see them? Or you could have some other questions um, of your own. Again, you're going to do this in your, your worksheet. Now, I've given some an example here. So I've chosen Ali. So he's in my family tree. I've chosen him. So 
His name is Ali. Who is he? Well, he's my brother. How old is he? He is 46. What does he do? He is an aircraft engineer. So there's some basic information. And then I've got some other information as well. Where does he live? Well, he lives in Bishopton in the UK. Where does he work? Well, he works for Rolls-Royce. How often do I see him? Well, I see him once a year. What are his hobbies? Well, he likes cycling. How many children does he have? He has two children. How tall is he? He is 188 centimetres tall. Very, very tall. In my family, I'm the shortest. My other brother is also very tall. My sister's tall as well. So basically here, I've given a lot of extra information. You don't need to give as much information, but you should try to get as, um, as much as you think um, you can about these family members. So here again, you should pause the video. Um, you should choose five members of your family and write some information about them in your assignment worksheet. Again, I've given you my example of the first one here. You should write down five people from your family, give their relationship, age, their job, and then some other information about those people. So everybody, write in your worksheet, pause the video for a few minutes and then write down about five people in your family. Okay, now we're going to choose three of those people that you wrote about. Um, in the previous part and I want you to try and write about them in detail using some full sentences. Um, I've given an example below. Again, this is the same information. I'm taking the information about my brother Ali here and I'm just putting that into some full sentences. So here's my example now. My brother's name is Ali and he is 46 years old. He lives in Bishopton in the UK and works for Rolls-Royce as an aircraft engineer. He has two children and likes cycling. He is very tall and I usually only see him once a year. So all I've done here is taken the information I've written and put it into some full sentences. So you're going to do the same. Um, I've given you my example here. You're now going to choose three of the people from your family that you have written about in here. And I want you to write some full sentences describing those people. Now, this should take you about 10 or 15 minutes to write all of this, maybe a little bit longer. So just now, again, everybody should pause the video and write down in your assignment handout. OK, then. So. We had quite a lot of writing to do today. Hopefully it wasn't too much for you. Um, again, if you've had any difficulty with any of the things we were doing today, send me an email or send me um, a text message. You can ask me some questions. Um, if you need some help with um, grammar or just understanding anything, feel free to ask me. In last week's lecture, I gave you all of my contact details. 
So um, we're just going to review what we've um, learned today. So first of all, today we learned how to use vocabulary to describe our family relationships. And hopefully everybody managed to get around eight or nine family words like sister, mother, father, and so on. Um, we learned how people talk about their families in the, in the listening. So they were asking about who these people are, how old they are. We learned how to make a family tree and also how to talk about the people in our families. How old are they? Where do they live? What's their job? And we had some other information um, as well. So hopefully everybody has managed to complete all of the activities in the um, class assignment. Please remember to upload your assignment files to the e-learning website. Next week's class, we will be looking at unit four of your textbook and the topic there is daily routines. So um, thank you everybody for listening today. Um, again, if you've got any questions, just send me an email or a text message and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. And please remember to upload your assignment files to the e-learning website. Thanks for listening, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.